Also, now there's help for hyperactive children who march to the beat of their own drummer. And it has to do with actually keeping a beat. As you've heard before, timing may be everything. Not just for artists or athletes. And as Fox 13's Mark Wilson shows us now, a device invented centuries ago to help musicians has now been computerized. And it's now being used for educational therapy. musician, such as a classical pianist, have in common with a golfer that they'd also have in common with a quarterback and his receiver. They all share keen timing skills and rhythm. Some of us were blessed with much more of it than others, and for centuries most of us believed we either had it or we didn't. You certainly couldn't teach it. Or could you? Maybe you can't make a musician or an athlete out of Amanda Joa, but a breakthrough interactive device appears to be making her a better student. For a child who should be getting A's, getting D's and F's, it wasn't acceptable. The 12-year-old was diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactive disorder four years ago. She had trouble focusing, listening, even sleeping. Life was getting tough for her, especially in the classroom. People would be walking in the doors and asking to go to the bathroom or sharpen their pencil and sharpening their pencils. And I just always got distracted and didn't spend enough time on my test. And Amanda is far from alone. It's believed roughly 10% of school-age children have some sort of learning or attention difficulty. On average, that's three children in every classroom. But life's changing for Amanda because her motor skills, coordination, and rhythm have improved. For the past six weeks, three times a week, she's been working with a Tampa therapist and a device called the Interactive Metronome. A computer program gives her a beat, and she has to time her hands and feet along with the bell she hears. Researchers learned that as a whole, children like Amanda with below average grades had below average coordination skills. And the Florida company that invented this device feels that by improving motor skills, they can improve learning skills. It focuses a person's sequencing and timing on their ability to absorb and retain information. I just, yeah, I didn't know we'd be here six weeks later. Her mother was skeptical at first, but six weeks after the first session has seen a world of difference in Amanda. Not only have her grades improved, she's more obedient at home and more confident in everything she does. I'm excited about what I'm seeing because they are um, making gains not only in motor coordination and in sequencing and in attending, but in self-esteem, which is, you know, the kind of thing that we want. I'm able to listen to people better, like when they're saying stuff, I can focus and not interrupt as often. And who knows, maybe Amanda just might find herself performing one day as well, or even teaching others who once struggled like she did. Mark Wilson, Fox 13 News. If you would like to learn more about the interactive metronome or, or find out if there's a therapist using this device near you, you can log on to their website. It's very easy to find. Just type interactivemetronome.com. If you have questions about attention disorders, you can check out ADD.org. Call us here in the newsroom if you need some guidance, because that sounds like a very good program for a lot of families could use this. That's a unique approach, and yes. obviously it does make you focus and concentrate on something. So that's wonderful that it's helped her, but it's going to eventually help a lot of children. Hope so.